Hi friends, in this video we are going ahead and we will look into the general server hang. So general uh, uh, why this server hangs and what is the symptoms by which you can understand that your uh, web logic server has hanged. So a server, uh, if you if the server is responding very slow uh, to you, uh, slow compared to the estimated time of response, then in that case it may be a server hang. Yeah, or if the server does not respond uh, to a client request, then it can also be a scenario of server hang. So, so you can understand when a server does not respond to a new request, it can be classified as a hang situation. You are sending a request from the browser and it times out. It means that the server is not able to process your request. In that case, uh, it is it, it can be considered as a server hang. The server is hang, and then it is not able to uh, it is not able to serve you. So the request timed out. Request taking longer and longer to process, and uh, earlier your application may get loaded in uh, five to ten seconds. Now it is taking uh, 20, 30, 40 seconds to load the application. So that can also be considered as a server hang and the server is no more reported as running in the admin console but it changed to unknown or failed then in that case also you can understand that the server has been in the uh, is in the hang state so these are the situations in which you can understand that your servers are not behaving uh, properly or there is some hang situation which has been uh, identified so now why this particular type of uh, problem will occur a server can hang for variety of reasons so a few of them are listed down here a server hang because of lack of some resources lack of resources prevent the server from serving request these resources can be the heap size or it can be a deadlock which has been detected in your threads execute threads or threads are all the threads are busy with the previous request and lot of requests are coming in so these are some of the some of the issues which can trigger your server to go on a hang situation lack of resource your uh, your your, uh, your uh, threads are in deadlock situation there are a lot of requests coming in like earlier 100 people were using your application and now thousand people started using your application you may have seen sometimes when uh, any uh, results comes out for any of the uh, any any class 9 10, 10 class and it is on on a website you may see that the website goes down it's because the website was uh, uh, built to handle 100 people at a given point of time but thousand people logged in and they all want to check their results so in that case uh, this situation can be also be termed as server hang so what are the potential cause of the server hang you can see there are some of the potential cause like uh, rmi rjvm response all threads are waiting for uh, rjvm so rjvm means remote uh, virtual machine java virtual machine and uh, your uh, servers are waiting for an uh, rmi call it has made a remote java invocation and it is waiting for that particular response so in that case also your uh, web logic server can hang your application deadlock threads resource one uh, it can be like the resource uh, uh, one is being uh, logged by logged by one of the thread and the other thread is also waiting for resource two and uh, resource 2 is waiting for resource 1 so there is a deadlock situation 1 is waiting for 2 2 is waiting for 1 to get released in that case there will be a deadlock situation so in that that can also cause a server to hang all the threads are used up in development mode we have 15 threads and in production mode we have 25 concurrent execute threads which are available for us to uh, for work for the these work so all, all of these uh, threads are being used up then in that case uh, your server may term as a hang state or a garbage collection is taking a lot of time so uh, there is a garbage collection every garbage collection in in your jvm is automated the java process itself take care of the garbage collection so you are seeing that a garbage collection is taking a lot of time and your that can also be considered as a server hang situation 
so jsp is jsp improper setting for the server uh, can cause your uh, jsp server hang you are calling a database and these database queries are taking a lot of time and uh, it's caused a jdbc deadlock uh, in the database so that can also trigger a web logic server hang as well jvm hung during code optimization so whenever you run any code on a jvm and so the jvm itself will optimize this code so that it can run faster in but in sometimes it may hang during the optimization so that can also be led to the server hang in code optimization jsp compilation cause server hang under heavy load so compilation of the jsp files Uh, can also trigger a server hang or there are some internal bugs on the jdk which you are using that may also cause your server to go in the hang state so when you find your server is in the hang state what are the, the, the what are the ways or what basic steps you will do first thing is you will check if the servers are available or not if you if you are saying that many server admin many servers is not uh, uh, is not uh, responding then you can uh, ping that particular many server on the uh, the server ip and the port number and if the server can respond to the ping it it may be that there is a specific application is hanging or very slow and not the server itself so if the server is able to ping back then in that case there may be some uh, application which is running on our uh, managed server which is causing the problem and uh, check the status uh, running versus shutdown state in the admin console the server could also appear hanging when the jvm is actually doing the garbage collection so this could be easily verified in the server start so you should always enable the garbage collection log and redirect it to the standard out and standard out to one file Uh, if the garbage collection is taking uh, a longer time greater than 10 second this may cause the server to miss the hub beat message and then the other servers in the cluster will uh, can identify that this server is out of the cluster they will put this particular many server out of the cluster if the the hub beats are missed three times so the garbage collection should not take more than uh, 10 second uh, either the full gc or the young gc so that is why you should always enable the garbage collection logs uh, in your environment to see uh, how much time the garbage collection is taking uh, in actual and uh, if it is taking more than 10 second so it means the garbage collection there is a, some settings which you have to change in your jvm parameters so that it does not take these many 10 seconds or uh, to do the garbage collection so uh, wls use another another thing is that wls uses muxer to read the incoming uh, request on the server and incoming response on the client these muxer of two types the native muxer enabled by default or the java muxer it is always uh, recommended to use the native muxers to read the data from the socket so there is this settings uh, of the muxer let me show you okay so i have to start my servers let me start the so let me start the my server and i mean the meantime we'll discuss about that this is the root user let me do with the oracle user because this installation was done with the uh, oracle user so this is my domain so i will use no hop dot slash start web logic and i will admin i can give today's date 29th october dot out and then ampersand sign so this will make sure that my servers get started and in the background and i have a log file created so i can view the output in admin 29. out file i can see if the server is up and running so let the server get started till the time we will see there are two types of socket muxer 
<coughs> one is the native mixer and another is java based mixer it is always recommended to use native mixers so we will see where is this uh, this uh, uh, configuration in weblogic admin console and uh, we should, you should not make use of java based uh, mixers unless and until uh, there is some uh, use case in your environment so if you are using a jdbc connection pool ensure that the data number of jdbc connection pool are configured correctly you are you have configured correct number of jdbc connection pools so initial and maximum capacity should always be kept uh, equal in case of production environment so that the connection pool have a uh, have lot of connections available and uh, it is available and whenever the request comes in the connections are uh, available and given to the to that particular request so now in that case uh, how can you troubleshoot this particular problem like in the general generic server hang how can you get the data so you have to take the data by taking multiple thread dumps so there are different commands to take the thread dumps kill hyphen tree you have jstack and other commands and uh, based on the, the command which you are comfortable you can take multiple uh, thread dumps and uh, then in that case these thread dumps will help us to identify what the problem is so you have to analyze this thread dump the most uh, useful tool of analyzing a server hang is a set of uh, thread dump a thread dump provide information on what each thread is doing at a particular moment of time a set of three or five three dump three or more taken five to ten second apart can help us analyze to the change or lack of change in each thread state from one thread dump to another the part pattern of a problem can only be diagnosed this way so these thread dumps will be the uh, the the data which you have to see in case of a server hang so let's see there are different states of your uh, threads which you can see in the server thread dumps so runnable or runnable thread running or runnable thread running thread means that the thread is doing some work at this given point of time suspended thread thread are suspended by the jvm waiting for notification threads wait for a notification from another thread before going back to a runnable state so it is waiting for a notification from another thread and then you can see thread stack or waiting for a condition variable the thread is in a condition wait state and can be without as waiting for an event to occur so it is waiting for an event like incoming request so that can be also caused as the thread are waiting so thread stuck waiting on monitor monitor are used to manage access or to the code that should only be run by a single thread at a given time so you cannot have uh, multiple thread executing the same part of the code if it is a single thread type of uh, uh, application which you have developed or that part of the application is single thread then only one thread we should be allowed uh, to make work on it so we then in that case the other threads will be stuck till that particular one thread freeze that particular uh, um, code part of the clock or uh, the other state you can see the thread uh, is uh, blocked the thread can be in the block uh, doing some work uh, then in that case your thread will be considered in the block state so what you have to look in the thread dump the first thing to look in the is the thread dump is for deadlock uh, is potentially reported for a dead, deadlock so when a thread is in the stick state should be uh, when the thread in the stuck state should be looked at to determine the reason that they are not running if they are waiting for the lock on an object then it will be necessary to identify the thread holding that lock to understand what it why it cannot release it that's the particular thread might be waiting for an operation to complete such as socket read or socket write or it can be waiting for a resource to be made available it could suffer from an application code issue or some network latency by identifying the thread blocking others we can identify the reason the thread is is in such state this will help us to narrow down where the issue lies so uh, let's uh, see one of these uh, example what to look in the thread dump in this case identify the thread holding the lock object would allow to understand why is it why is it not released uh, we need to verify that if any of the non progressive thread have uh, netscap ldap ldap connection in the execution stack thread so you can see here you can see 
uh, that this particular threat execute threat 2 is in the log stack state and it is uh, waiting for it is logged it is waiting for to acquire a log on these objects 3718 so now all at the so it is waiting here you can see here it is waiting to get that uh, log and uh, Uh, here if you can see here in this you can see uh, this in this example it is uh, that uh, execute thread 9 is waiting to log some objects 5152 and 5150 is being uh, logged by another thread so you can see here waiting to log in this uh, thread dump this is another thread dump which you can see waiting to log 5150 this is a this uh, and then you can see another thread is also waiting uh, to get that lock and execute thread 5 is holding that lock and uh, and it is not released so unless and until this execute thread 5 releases these uh, thread lock on this particular object 51520 other threads will be keep on waiting and if 10 minutes of time is uh, is gone then in that case these threads will be marked as stuck so execute thread 5 uh, has to complete its work uh, and then release this particular uh, logged object and give it to the other threads so that these threads can also work and they can complete their work other if this uh, thread is uh, logged uh, by this thread and it is not uh, releasing this thread then in that case the the execute thread 6 and execute thread 9 will be considered as stuck thread after 10 minutes of time so let me show you those configuration where it is there in the web logic admin console so for that you have to open let me open this it's now started web logic and give the password so you can see i am able to log in into my web logic admin console so here uh, you can go to the servers and go to the server you can go to admin manage any server you can go to the tuning part you can see enable native io so this is the native io that is uh, enabled on my system and it is making use of the uh, my operating system threads to get the data yeah. and if i unselect this then in that case java socket will be uh, will be used java based threads will be used but this uh, native io enable is a good option you should always enable this unless and until there is a requirement on your side and uh, you can see stuck thread maximum time is uh, here uh, if your thread uh, which was waiting for uh, waiting for that particular lock in this example which i have showed you uh, if this particular thread 6 and 9 are waiting more than 600 seconds more than 600 second then in that case these threads will be will be called as stuck threads so after 6 600 second so in your case if you have identified that some of your application code takes more uh, to get the output takes more than 600 second you can increase this timing as well so once you increase this timing stuck thread max time then in that case so if you increase it to 9 900 uh, seconds so in that case after 15 minute it will uh, be marked as stuck so you have to it, it is based on your application to application and you have to check what is the maximum time it took for that particular any part of your code to get executed Max, mostly in case of uh, in case uh, six, 600 seconds uh, most of the things get executed but if there is something which is uh, which is always uh, Uh, taking more time than this then it is good practice to increase this stuck thread maximum time so that your threads will not be marked as stuck thread uh, in case it is doing some work so uh, hope you have understood this and uh, in case uh, of server hang 
these are the thread dumps are the real friends which will help us to identify why this particular uh, uh, problem uh, occurred and uh, there are you have to take multiple thread dumps uh, in the interval of 3 to uh, in the interval of uh, 5 to 10 seconds multiple thread dumps see the status of the thread dumps if the thread dumps are see the status of the threads are changing or not if they are not changing it means thread are waiting for something and then in the thread stack you have to identify what has what is causing the problem and uh, why your uh, server is getting hanged hope you have got through this we will meet in the next video thank you